Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this vision board dashboard in my Hobonichi Weeks, but of course you can use the technique for any planner size, so if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, let me just zoom you guys in. And this is the Canva homepage, of course. If you guys aren't familiar with Canva at all, it's basically an app that combines Photoshop, Illustrator, all of these artsy design type tools into one really simple user-friendly tool. Okay, and I highly recommend that you guys download it. I mean, it's free to download. Download it for free to just play around with it and try it out because you can use it for so many different things. So I'm just going to start walking you guys through how to create this vision board. It's so easy. And so the first thing that you're going to do is click that create a design button in the top right corner. And you'll see that it gives you some suggestions of different types of templates that you can use. So they have things for Instagram, for YouTube, you can make flyers, posters, people use this to make their media kits if they're creators. Just so many different templates already available and this is all free, but of course they do have a pro version as well that offers a lot more templates even and just makes things a lot easier. I'll describe some of the features as we walk through it, but just so you guys know that there's a completely free version that offers a lot. Okay, so from here you would go into the bottom here, it says custom size. And here you're going to choose from this little drop box. Right now it says PX, which is pixels, but we want to choose inches. And what you're going to do is just put in the measurement of whatever planner size you're trying to create that insert for. Okay, so for example, if we use the Hobonichi Weeks example that I did, the Hobonichi Weeks size here is about seven inches. Oops, let me show you there. Seven inches by three and probably almost closer to a half, but because I want this to be a small, bit smaller because I'm going to be sticky in here, I'm gonna make mine three and um, a quarter inches, okay? So what you just go, what you would just do is go into width and you would put 3.25, and for height, you would just put seven. And then you would just put create design and now you can see that the shape of my design mimics the Hobonichi Weeks. So depending on whatever planner size you're using, if you're using you know, pocket size, I think it's three and a half by five inches. If you're using A5, it would be, what is it? 8.3 by five point something inches. You just put your measurements exactly like the size that you want to use. So you'll see that on the side here, there's a whole bunch of different templates that you can actually use. So I, pulled all of my images from Pinterest and I'm going to show you how I did mine exactly first and then we'll talk about like the templates and different things that you could use within the Canva app itself so that you don't have to even find images off of um, the internet. Okay, so if we're going to go straight into how I did mine, so here is the basic image or basic template and then what I would do is go to camera roll. I would go to images and pick the folder where I have all the images that I want to select from. And then you just start adding them in. So for example, you know, here, I like all of these photos, let's say. So I'm just going to tap on the ones that I know I'm going to use and it adds them all to your page. And then you can just move them around. It's really easy to move around to reshape it. So you'll see that I'm just reshaping them. You can also rotate them. If you could see that, let me zoom you this in a little bit. It's getting a bit small. So literally in like three seconds, <laughs> I pretty much created the dashboard that I did, right? The, the the vision board I did. So let me also show you. So aside from pictures, of course, you could also add text. So they give you again, different options, but if you just wanted to do your own, you could add the, the heading. I want it this size. You can change the fonts, the size of the font. You can change the color. So if I want it to stand out, maybe I would use a gray or a white. You can see I just added that there. 
right? And how you change each of the pictures or the headers or whatever is you just click on that item and each of these items is called an element, an element of your design. And so if I just click on it, it shows you all the things that you can do. You can even add effects. You can, you know, make it a bullet point. You can change, you know, how it's formatted. You can italicize, you can bold it. You can do a whole bunch of things with each of your elements. So that is an extremely, extremely basic way to create a vision board. I told you it only takes 10 seconds. And if you're still interested, let me just walk you through some of the other different tools that you can have in here. And I'll tell you some about a bit about the pro features that allows you to do more things. Okay. Before I show you um, what I did after I created it, let me just tell you one key pro feature that I do think is really worth it for those of you guys who use multiple planners or maybe switch planner sizes a lot and don't want to recreate these templates like, you know, for each size that you're using is the pro function allows you to resize and it's just right in the corner there. It says resize and it's a pro feature. It has the little crown on it to tell you that it's a pro feature. What the resize does is it allows you to take whatever creation you've made and you can make so many things on on Canva. Like people make planner inserts on Canva, right? And instead of having to recreate this like in different sizes by going through that whole process again, I mean, it's a quick process, but if you had a more complex design, it would obviously take longer. In the pro version, it allows you to resize this automatically. So you can hit the resize button, put the new dimensions that you want. So if you wanted to resize the Hobonichi Weeks into an A5 size or a pocket size or whatever planner you're using, you can just use that resize function and quickly have both sizes like instantly pretty much, right? So it's a pretty key feature. The Canva Pro, I actually have a link down, I'll link it down below that gives you 30 free days, like 30 days to trial Canva Pro. So you can make all the things you want and then resize and then just cancel your Pro, um, the Pro account or whatever and you wouldn't be charged anything. So yeah, you, you can check out that link if you're interested in playing around with the Canva Pro features and I'll talk about some of the other ones as well, which you may or may not be interested in. Okay, so that's that. And then I'll, and then after you're happy with your design, there's this little, what is this little down arrow? And this is how you export your design. So you could do is save as an image or here it says download. And if you hit download, it gives you some choices to save it as a JPEG, PNG. You can even save it as a PDF. You can save videos because you can actually make little videos like YouTube intros or whatever on Canva as well. So you can save it as whatever file type you want. Typically you just want it as PNG. Now the other thing that you might be interested to know is sometimes you want to create an image that's see-through because say you're creating something that you're putting, you're layering on top of um, another design. Say so you're layering it on top of uh, insert that you already have or like a title page you already have so you want the words behind to peek through okay or if you're making stickers that's really important so that feature if you want the see-through background feature is again another pro feature okay so you need the pro version for those two um that one and the resize i would say are probably the most common or most used pro features for somebody who's in the planner community at least that's from my perspective, that's probably the most worth it. And I do think it's worth it because you get so much, especially now that I'm on YouTube, I've just been getting a lot of value out of um, Canva. So um, then after you do that, you would save it as a picture. And what you can do is actually, you can either just from that picture, obviously print it. And if your printer can accommodate like any planner size or planner page, then just trim the page that you're going to use into this size and print directly on it. If however, your printer can't do that and say like for me, I printed this on sticker paper. And so I'll link the sticker paper that I use down below too, if you're interested, but I wanted to print on sticker paper so that I could easily just like stick it in here instead of having to like put glue and make it all messy. Um, if I wanted, if when I wanted to do that, I didn't want to waste a whole like letter sheet of uh, sticker paper for this one little piece. So I just took that image and inserted it into Word or whatever processor that you want to use, Word processor. And so I added some other images as well. So I actually made two of these on one sheet and just put them side by side in Word and then printed it from Word. 
okay? The other good thing about doing it in Word is that you can actually like make it a little bit, scale it down a little bit. If you end up, if it feels like it's a little too big for your planner, you can scale it down a little bit in Word um, and then print it that way. I think you guys all know how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. You just insert it as an image and add whatever other images you want until it fills up your US letter paper and then print it out. And then you have um, a full sheet of sticker stuff, right? So that's how I did that. Um, so then let me show you if you didn't want to do you, if you didn't want to get your own images and add the images that way, I'm just going to show you what else you can get from the app itself. So here I just duplicated that page and then I'm just going to show you kind of the other features. So the first one in here I showed you is called templates and they just have a bunch of templates. You already see that it's kind of in the same shape as the one we have, which is amazing, right? You don't have to like play around with it. You basically have something that's already ready for you to go. So depending if you're trying to make like a flyer, if you're trying to make some sort of like, I don't know, in informational type thing, it has all these designs that you can use. The pro feature obviously has a lot more, but you can see even from the free version, there's like already a lot like, wouldn't that be a cute dashboard on its own? And of course you can go and edit the different elements on the template. So here, like I could go and change that wording, right? And that is like such a cute dashboard without me having to do anything, right? Um, let's see what else. There was another one at the top here that I thought was cute, which is this one. And this one has these little framed pictures, but of course you can go in and change the little pictures into your own images. So here it says delete image or delete frame. So I could delete the image and now I could add in my own image into here. So there's just so many options in here. And of course, if you get the pro version, you get even more templates, but there's already a lot that you can just choose from, from the free version. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it's all free, so you can just download it and try it out yourself. But here's one that looks kind of nice. Like that's already a dashboard on its own, right? Like you literally didn't have to do anything. You just take this and it's already a dashboard. So there's so many different options in here. And let me just go through some of the other ways you could use it as well. So if I add another page, another thing that you can do in here is use what they call elements. And that's just like those little, you know, each of the different little designs on the templates that I showed you before, but you could create your own from scratch. So you'll see that within elements, there's these little graphics or little stickers that they call. And so for example, you know, it's Christmas time. So I was looking up Christmas and you can just find little different Christmas graphics. Again, of course, there's going to be free ones. There's going to be ones that are, you know, pro that you have to pay for, but there's so many options. They have these little graphics, but when you search Christmas, they actually have these backgrounds as well that you can use. So you can create it completely from scratch. Um, if I searched, and it's not even just Christmas, you know, like if I searched arrow, they have different types of arrow options that you can use and you can change, of course, this one's white, so you can't see it. But of course you can do the same thing that I was saying earlier and change your elements into different colors, different formats. There's just so many things that you can do. It's, it's crazy. Um, so that's the elements. Then another thing you can do, of course, is insert from your camera roll. That's the third one there. And you'll just see, you know, obviously it's what I showed you in the last one is where you just insert the pictures. You can tweak around how big or small you want your picture to be. Okay. And then the text I've showed you, and then you can of course upload different files that you want to save into Canva. Um, and then here you can even look up different types of backgrounds. So if I add another page, page here, say I wanted to look up some sort of nice neutral background. You can go into backgrounds at the near the bottom here. So you have a beautiful dashboard already. And for those of us who are in like ring planners, like we all love dashboards, right? Like you can create so many different dashboards in like five minutes, just using Canva's templates that they already have and the designs that they already have. So love it. And especially if you have the pro version, like you could sell these and you have to look up the rules, but I think a lot of these images you can sell actually through like commercial, it's commercial use. So you can sell those. Don't quote me on that, but I believe you can, because I know a lot of people sell Canva templates and whatnot. It's just such a cool tool. So I think that's all I had, all I had for this video on Canva. Now, 
if you guys are a little bit intrigued, want to know a little bit more on how to use Canva for planning purposes, for creating digital stickers, for making planner inserts off Canva, for how to start a shop, a planner shop, an Etsy shop, um, using Canva, let me know down below. I'd love to get into more of that if there's interest. So yeah, hope you found this useful. If you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that so I know you like this kind of video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!